Like, I don't want my kids to have to go through that. You know. So, uh, what is that under there? What in the world? I see something interesting. Come on. Seriously, man. Dang. Well, there goes my night. So now I gotta get that fixed. Thank you, Goodyear, for coming out so quick and doing such a fast job. It's time for us to hit the road. Y'all check out that intro and let's get on out of here. Rangers and Rangerettes. We have successfully made another trip down here to Laredo with a 45,000 pound load in my 2000 Freightliner FLD 127 Detroit 60 series engine. She pulled this load like it was nothing. Uh, we have made it here to the receiver. This is the load that we have picked up in uh, Port Allen, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, I'm looking here in the camera. These visor buddy shades, guys, they are excellent. Excellent for hiding bags under your eyes too. Not only do they block sun glare, but they block bags coming this way. Uh, yeah, these are really good. So if DOT ever pulls you over and you're, at, and you're tired, Get you a pair of visor buddy shades to cover up the bags under your eyes. And you can't even tell. Just act energetic. But I had me a full-on cup of coffee last night. Um, the dude that changed my attire last night, he man, that dude, it took him all of 30, maybe 45 minutes or so. But it caused me to leave out a lot later than when I wanted to. I got to wait for him to get there, which that wasn't long. So it set me back. Well, yesterday was already an extended day, longer than what I had wanted it to be. But... Uh, you know, family comes first. And so I gotta make sure things are handled at home before we get out here on the road. And so things are handled at home. We have to get some ideas for the truck because we will be starting the uh, the 
the floors pretty soon. So we wanted to get an idea of what to expect when it comes to choosing floors. So y'all comment down below if y'all didn't watch last video uh, to get some floors, floor ideas in. And then as well as uh, I want to give you all that revenue update. So I did give you all a revenue update on my uh, first official full week of Landstar. So y'all go check out that previous video. I broke down the numbers and showed you guys, um, like I said, my first week of Landstar. And I compared and contrasted if I would have kept this truck and if I would have... Uh, if I would have gotten this truck, if I would have kept my previous truck, that uh, International Lone Star with the truck note, versus having a cash truck. So if you have not seen that, go check out the previous video and you, know, you can see those numbers broken down. So, uh, yeah, so I, I, I got in at like six this morning. I pulled in at six this morning, took about an hour and a half nap, came in here into the gate, uh, got checked in and everything they're getting us offloaded and so i don't have any i mean i've been sitting here so um my hours are I, we don't have any left so i'm going to have to uh um, like pc forced to leave shipper you know to get out of here to the nearest safe haven which just so happens to be the uh landstar uh terminal which we may or may not just happen to be doing a transload there that might be our next where our next pickup is, but it is the nearest safe haven from here. So what are the odds? So we're going to the Landstar terminal um, for a transload. And then that is going back up to Dallas Fort Worth. And uh, from Dallas Fort Worth, we're going back down to St. Rose, Louisiana, which is Southern Louisiana. And then I hit up my usual contact out there in Port Allen, Baton Rouge. Hey, you got another one? Uh, the loads I'm dropping off, I'm, the load I have on me right now that I'm dropping off, she's got another one. She has those loads um, several times a day. So I hit her up and I was like, hey, you got it? And she was like, yeah. But well, it got me switching doors. Got me getting door 14. Now they want me in door eight. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, for your support. Um, I was just checking my analytics in that video I shared with you guys that I drove that black W9 that I was going to purchase and I drove it home and everything. That video just hit 100,000 views. And that is my first video to reach 100,000 views. So, uh, anything for me? Thank y'all for that. Tetris to get through here. I don't have a lot of space to work with here, but we will make it work regardless. So yeah, uh, we've just been running. If you've been watching the channel, you know that we've just been working that little triangle. Way 
way too much trailer. I don't really have too much space in front of me to work with, but. But yeah, so why work harder when you can work smarter? It allows me to be home more often to help out around around the house because I actually uh, don't mind doing that. There we go. She's in there now. truck pulling in. All right, let's readjust one more time. All right, we're in it now. So, but yeah guys, just trying to work smarter, not harder. You know, just moving at three to 400 miles a day. And y'all saw the numbers in the last video of what I'm making. Uh, I will venture out later and do like your Kentucky, Chicago, St. Louis, Midwest kind of stuff, Atlanta. But once the uh, the weather clears up, like right now, is just trying to maintain until that happens. And I did read y'all's comments. I had posted a video the other day about. Uh, about should I leave Landstar? I checked out y'all's comments. Thank y'all for the feedback on that. All right, we're bouncing, we're bouncing. We need to test the dock. There we go. So yeah, so I'm in, in the uh, negotiation phase with that potential customer, direct customer I was telling y'all about. We're in the negotiating phases, trying to see what we can work out and if it's even worth doing that. And if it is, uh, I may or may not be leaving Landstar. And there is a, another company that I know of that a friend of mine told me about. If you're watching, shout out to you. But there's another company that runs like local dedicated stuff out of uh, Houston, home every day. Uh, off weekends running uh, flatbed or step deck and from what I hear they pay really 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 good so I may end up doing that so I don't know so I, may, I need to start looking for an open deck trailer um, and the giveaway uh, raffle I keep saying giveaway the raffle uh, we will be giving more details on that the more details that we get um we'll be i'll be giving more details on that as to come so we're giving away or raffling off a 2003 freightliner uh classic and uh, details are coming soon i know y'all a lot of y'all are curious as to what's going on but details are coming soon on that uh but you must be a subscriber to win if you don't know what i'm talking about look at two videos ago we're raffling off a 2003 Freightliner Classic. Uh, it was previously leased on to Landstar and it is not uh, anymore. It's from uh, a company that we partnered with that we're raffling off uh, that truck. So make sure you subscribe so that you can potentially win that truck. Uh, beautiful truck, beautiful, absolutely beautiful truck. Uh, I was gonna buy this truck, but I'd rather uh, raffle it off and build this one from scratch because I have something else. I've said before, I have something something else in store for the channel that I'm eyeing out. And I would uh, much rather rather purchase this than that, uh, that classic. So we're going to raffle it off to one of you guys. So anyway, uh, let's chill here and wait and hopefully we'll get out of here soon. All right, well, we're empty. email 
calls. I had one of my usual agents. Actually, <laughs> the load we're about to go pick up right now. Uh, she hit me back up. She emailed me this morning. She was like, hey, you know, we uh, appreciate you doing a load for us last week and blah, blah, blah. Would you mind doing another one? I said, sure. She said, well, what day will you be in Laredo? And I told her, she said, oh, I got one right here. Do you want it? I said, yes, ma'am. And this is the transload down there at the terminal. So she has one, another one of these going back to Dallas for next week. And so I hit up another agent that I know that, uh, when we do those uh, that, those Pinsky runs, when that guy failed me the other day for uh, my uh, tire not being up to par, I called that agency. I said, hey, y'all got anything coming out, going back down to Laredo? He said, yeah, I actually may have a round trip. Uh, you want it? And I said, yes, definitely. So that is the key to Landstar, guys. Make connections, pick your own lanes, and uh, get in good with these agents and you don't have to use the load board. Like I haven't had to use the load board in about two weeks. I've only been using the agents that I know, whether it's I contact them because I know they have a specific lane or, uh, let's see which way do we come in here? Or, uh, stop here. Gotta make a right here. But yeah, either them contacting me or me contacting them. Make those connections and you will make money at Landstar. I have not had to even look at the load board. Traffic looks like according to GPS, so uh, let's get on to this terminal, finish out our 10 hour break, and then uh, we'll head on up to Dallas again. I'm gonna show you guys how to make some money over here at Landstar. I know a lot of y'all have been asking about Landstar, so uh, we're gonna get into it and yeah, we'll see how much money we make this coming week. So let's get on to the terminal. Anybody coming through? No. Okay, we're good. Cool. Moment. I'm glad you in it in my life. You decided to heal and grow and get through it. See, I'm not perfect and I make mistakes sometimes. They be foolish, but you look past it and be stuck around my ride of the truest. I guess you seen something in me to do it, and I'm thankful for real. You keep me going, take me far as I can. You push me hard and I'll get smarter, better father. Raise my daughters, help me grow and become grown as a man. You think they hear what I'm saying? A better position when I followed your plan. I put away my childish thoughts. It's time to think like a man. I guess the only way to show them is right out to the end and never lose sight stand focused super glued to the plan i know i need you like the country needs land or like the church and these fans or like most children need plan or like some love and romance all i need and all i ask for is you tell me can you ride with me can we slide can we cruise We're here, we're in the dock. I really need to move that stack. Well, let me replace the stacks, move them closer to the truck, get some shorter, some shorter uh, brackets. So we're here, we're at the terminal. They're about to do the transload. Uh, so I guess they're gonna go find that trailer that the freight is on. Uh, we're doing those, I think they were washing machines or refrigerators from uh, for Whirlpool last time. And this time now I know, uh, I'm going, 
I gotta figure out those back rows because last time that was no bueno last time going through those little sketchy back roads. I need to find a better way to get over there. I mean, I could take 35 up to 20 back over to 45, but it seems like that's the longer route. I don't know. But uh, but anyway, guys, y'all know Stuntman the Outlaw, the big homie, Stuntman. Uh, he just reached out to me. So he is in, a, uh, he's doing a contest. He's in a contest for his truck with fulltiltperformance.com. Um, he's got his truck entered and they're, um, they're voting for the best truck picture. And so uh, go to fulltiltperformance.com and uh, go vote for his truck. His truck is number two, truck number two. Go there and vote for his truck uh, so he can win. Awesome dude, awesome truck, cattle hauler. Uh, over, overall, well-rounded dude. Like, that dude can haul anything. Hopper bottom, uh, RGN, step deck. I think I seen him haul a reefer unit, which he didn't like that too much. But uh, Stuntman the Outlaw, y'all go check out, uh, check his channel out. He's got some awesome content. That man puts my channel to shame. Cause he's actually got some exciting content on his. He's got a bad A Peterbilt and uh, like hauling what I want to haul, like your RGN cattle kind of stuff. But uh, go to fulltiltperformance.com and number two, truck number two, you'll see his cream colored, like cream colored, brown colored uh, Peterbilt. And uh, he, he, her name is uh, uh, Pearlene. And so y'all go check out stuff, man. Go vote for his truck and then comment down below and let me know uh, that, you, that you've done so. Uh, so I can personally thank you for looking out for one of the big homies, uh, Stuntman. But he should be at the Match Truck Show with us. So we're working on the details with that. But uh, he should be out there with us. And so uh, we'll get to meet him in person for once instead of just on the, the YouTube lives. But, but he had reached out to me. He was like, hey, bro, I got this going on. I said, yeah, let's do it. Let's put it on out there. And he was real humble about it. He was like, how much would you charge for me to put it on the channel? For me to talk about it. I was like, dude, I said, I can't charge the YouTube goat. I can't do that. So it would be an honor for me to even just have your picture, your truck's picture on my on my channel. And for me to be a part of that uh a part of that uh the competition or that contest. So y'all go to fulltiltperformance.com. If I remember, I'll leave a link down there in the description below. Click on that link and then click option two, truck number two, and you'll see it's cream colored brown highlighted uh peter built with the bottom lead cattle hauler cattle wagon and so y'all go vote for his truck awesome dude awesome content and go check out his channel while you're at it stop man the outlaw like that dude is going to end up blowing me out the waters uh, uh one day and uh, i look forward to it that dude's got an awesome channel one of my favorite channels to watch so but yeah guys um we're getting transloaded here i want to nap so bad but uh, I might need to go in here and take a shower, freshen up a little bit, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. So, uh, But from what I've seen, there's a little line for the shower, so I don't know. We'll kind of wait it out here a little bit. But I do need to get something to eat, too, before my trainer with B-Lean Fitness. Y'all check out B-Lean Fitness. Uh, link down there in the description below. Um, they have a trial that they're doing with their fitness program for truck drivers. They have a whole program for truck drivers to keep us in shape keep us healthy while we're out here on the road and so actually i need to walk around i'm gonna walk around this terminal get some exercise in do a few just to keep my body moving and i need to eat something i need to get some calories in and some protein and so uh we'll figure that out later but uh, let's walk around for a little bit and uh first i'll make sure they don't need me to move my truck or anything and once they start transloading we'll move around so anyway stuntman the outlaw y'all go vote for his truck be lean fitness y'all go check them out and um sign up for that trial and so we can uh do a just do better you know out here on the road so anyway so let's see how uh this pans out and we'll see what's next I told you guys i was gonna go for a little walk it's wet and muddy back here but while i was walking around i want to show you guys something so but y'all didn't know that Landstar has a tanker department. And these look almost, I think these are all brand new. So 
Yeah, looky here. Landstar, it's got all these, these tankers. All of those, so they say Quantix, okay. But yeah, Landstar has a tanker department, guys. Got these. These. They just built this lot back here. This was not uh, here a couple of months ago. This is an all brand new lot. They've had to expand. You know, these hazmat loads back here. Yeah, so they do have a tanker. So in order to haul a tanker for Landstar, you have to have a year experience of hauling tanker, not just your endorsement, but an actual year of hauling tanker uh, prior to coming over here. So they got a nice oversized load over here. Uh-oh, look at there. Ooh -wee. One day, guys, this is the dream. Trailer has seen better days. A shout out to Be Lean Fitness for uh, keeping me accountable, man. I've really been more intentional about my health. And, um, uh, and just uh, my wife, too, she's been more intentional about it. But just learning what I've learned you know, about um, different ways to stay in shape, especially how busy I am on, on the road with trucking and everything. The little st simple stuff like this, going for a walk, the weather's beautiful out here. Um, that's one reason I keep choosing South Southern loads. I ain't trying to go up there in that weather. I try to do one, maybe two winter trips a year, and that is it. But, uh, but yeah, it's nice and warm down here. Look, I'm in a three quarter length shirt, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, but they've been teaching me a lot and holding me accountable, keeping me accountable, you know, for my health and my fitness. So y'all check them out. It's a link down in the description below. Just do their trial. Let me know what you think about it. Comment down below. Let me know what you feel uh, afterwards. So but guys, let's get back to this truck. I'm going to take me a nap and uh, get something to eat later. And then we'll get on out of here. And we're out of here. We're getting checked out by the uh, the guard. He's just kind of doing a walk around of the of the truck. But uh, about to shoot on up to Dallas, dropping hook tonight, and then we'll park on location at my uh, my pickup in the morning. But we're going to the same place I went to couple of days ago where I went down on skeptical back roads. But I ain't doing it this time. Alright, cool. Alright. Seatbelt. Light load. traffic out. I know this, uh, that border traffic, the border patrol stuff is probably going to be hectic. So hopefully it won't be too bad. But uh, let's get on out of here.
finally almost there. trailer right there to the left, the Landstar trailer is the one we dropped off the other night. It's still sitting there. But let me do all this and uh, let's chit chat for a little bit. All right, we're here once again. And actually, uh, that's the trailer I dropped off last time. Went ahead and just parked it next to that one. So. All right, so let's chit chat for a little bit. So, giveaway coming soon. 2003 Freightliner Classic XL. Uh, we're going, I keep saying giveaway. We're raffling it off. 
So we are doing uh, 1,000 tickets at $100 a piece. Now, I do want to uh, address some, uh, some criticism. So as we all know, there are people who criticize my content on a daily basis. And I'm addressing you guys, I'm not addressing anybody else. We're gonna turn this truck off so y'all can hear me. So, I'm talking to the ones that consistently criticize my channel on a daily basis. I have some that criticize here and there, but the ones that criticize daily. Uh, of course, I wanna raffle off a truck, and oh, it's a scam, it's a this, it's a that, and blah, blah, blah. Well, if you think it's a scam, don't buy a ticket. It's that simple. I am not. There are plenty of people who are gonna be entering this raffle in hopes to win the truck and get spirits and get faith. And this is for them. This is not for the ones who are gonna be uh, consistently uh, criticizing everything I do. So, um, when we started this channel, it was to help people, it was to be a blessing, which is why we do things like giveaways, uh, and we give away so much stuff, is because we wanna be a blessing and we wanna be able to, to give back as much as we can including this truck, including the possibilities of us starting a fleet and giving away trucks and raffling off trucks and putting drivers into trucks and, and all that fun stuff. That is why we're doing what we're doing. And so for you to consistently come on this channel and criticize, it gets annoying. It gets a little annoying, especially when you're, when you're ruining somebody else's joy, somebody else's uh, peace and they comment something and then you go on their comment and say something negative like I don't tolerate that that is not something I tolerate that is something my five-year-old and four-year-old do and so I don't tolerate that from uh, from people who claim to be adults so like I said when we do things like this it's to help people it is in good spirits it is in good faith um, people are saying that it's a that's a scam, it's $100,000 for a $10,000 truck. Well, first of all, we're raffling off the truck, we're giving away cash, and we're raffling off the, uh, the flatbed equipment. All that adds up. Plus, to do this raffle giveaway, it is, um, it's gonna require overhead. It is gonna require marketing it's going to require advertising um it is definitely a liability it's going to uh require insurance there are multiple things that this like a uh, raffle like this is going to require it's not just oh it's a hundred dollar ticket a thousand tickets he's going to get a hundred thousand dollars no there's a lot of legalities behind it that some of you illiterate people don't think about and so uh, instead of you be just constantly coming over here to criticize and, and count my dollars and count what I got going on, how about you worry about your own pockets? I know they say that hurt people hurt people and misery loves company and, uh, you know, a bad apple can spoil the whole bunch. Well, not over here. We don't tolerate that over here. So if you want to constantly criticize or constantly be negative, you can go do that. But you can do that... Um, somewhere else because we don't tolerate that just like i want to shield my family from from people who are negative you know people who don't have my best interests at heart uh i want to do, I, I do the same thing for my subscribers as well because people actually come over here they enjoy the content they enjoy what i do they uh participate they inspire us encourage us pour into us and then you have some people who just want to tear us apart yeah you can do that if you want to with me, but I don't tolerate that with uh, my family. I've actually had some people go on uh, my wife's channel, We The Spencer Family. Y'all go subscribe to that channel, We The Spencer Family. I've had people go on her channel and say some hateful things on there. They tried to get under my skin on my channel, and of course I don't, like, it, doesn't, it doesn't bother me. And so then you go on my wife's channel and target her and target uh, try to target my kids 
by saying something disrespectful and hurtful. I don't tolerate that. Uh, I'm Mr. Nice Guy on YouTube. You know, hey, Mr. Lone Star, Texas Ranger, ran, 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 such and such. But uh, cross me or my family and uh, you will see a different side. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just being honest. You can take that as a threat. You can take it as a, as a caution or as a warning. Take it however you want to. But uh, you cross my family or say something the wrong way. You know, just ask the last guy who tried that. Ask him how that turned out for him. So, uh, so yeah. But my family, and I, I am very protective of my family. So next time that happens, uh, just know, Mr. Lone Star Texas Ranger. Y'all gonna see a different side of him. But, but yeah. So if you have something to say, if you think it's a scam, you think the channel's a scam, you think I'm this, or there's one thing to question the giveaway or the raffle or the question what's going on and there's another thing when you're questioning me or questioning my integrity and then it's one thing if you go in there and say it to my face which i actually prefer that because i'm more of a face-to-face -face kind of person instead of hiding behind the keyboard or hiding behind the screen um you know it's one thing to say it in the comments but it's another thing when somebody else is excited about it and then you comment on their on their uh their comment to kind of rip their joy or rip their their excitement away to say something negative so we don't tolerate that over here like i said i know hurt people hurt people you know misery loves company and uh if you need help reach out we love to help but if you're just here to be negative and be hateful and be all kinds of crap then uh like i said we don't tolerate that over here you know there's other places for that and uh it is not over here like I protect my sheep and uh, I take that seriously. And so uh, whether that's, like I said, my family or whether that is uh, our subscribers, we see y'all like family anyway. And just like you, any family, you're gonna have a Judas. And so uh, like I was actually told this recently by uh, somebody I uh, respect. He said, in order, he said, even Jesus had a Judas. In order to move forward, in order to do things, you got to have a Judas, and I got plenty of them. So, you Judases, just know you ain't messing up nothing. But just like Jesus addressed his Judas, I'm addressing y'all. So, I mean, you can do what you want to or whatever, but you're sure as hell not going to bring that over here. So, uh, take it somewhere else. But, uh, like I said, we're here to help people. We're here to bless people. There's a bunch of legal legalities and risks and liabilities that, have, that are behind the scenes of a giveaway raffle and all that kind of stuff and i'm taking all that risk and uh if you're questioning my integrity then you think it's a scam guess what go take that some then keep it to yourself or email me call me y'all know the little route that i run you can come address me face to face but don't rip somebody else's joy of that because we don't like i said we don't tolerate that and for the ones who are consistently criticizing me every single day and saying negative crap and other people see that, new subscribers who are coming on, like just us buying this truck has brought on 1,100 subscribers. They see that, guess what? You're not gonna ruin their joy either. And so we started going through and uh, putting people on probation in the comment section to where you can go in there and type what you want, but you're the only person that can see it. And so uh, so now who's, who, now who looks like the idiot? So you're just sitting there talking to yourself. So. So yeah, so that's what we got, that's what we got going on. I just wanted to address that because I didn't want any of the new subscribers to, you know, feel any kind of way about anything. But I did want to address a certain group of people who were consistently criticizing the channel, criticizing me every single day. Like I said, there's stuff going on behind the scenes that you have no idea what's going on and you only want to give your input based on the little 2% that you do know or that you think that you, uh, anticipate is going on behind the scenes and then even though we're doing a thousand entries it doesn't mean one that we're going to stay at a thousand entries there's a certain amount of entries that we that me and the other party agreed on we're doing a thousand entries because it gives everybody an opportunity uh to participate we may get a thousand entries we may only get 500 entries and decide to you know what we'll go ahead and close it you know, it's been long enough. We'll go ahead and close it here. Just because we said it as a th at a thousand doesn't mean it's gonna stay. 
at a thousand entries. It might go to 500, it might go to 300. We don't know. But I told you guys what was going on with this raffle, uh, just to kind of give y'all a heads up of what we have cooking in the background. A lot of y'all were asking. And I didn't want to hold the hold it for too long behind the scenes. So that was just me being transparent with you guys, letting y'all know what we had cooking. And so, uh, and then I also told you guys that we're gonna have, you know, other, I might incorporate some other ways to get you guys names in the entry as well. So it's not only going to be purchasing uh, raffle tickets. I might try to find a way, you know, to uh, have participants in the raffle, you know, other than purchasing a ticket, which is why it's at a thousand. So, but anyway, just wanted to address that. Like I said, you can say what you want to, but like I said, you're sure as hell not gonna rob our joy. So, uh, just wanted to let you guys know that. So yeah, uh, we're raffling off that truck. We will be giving y'all more details as the time comes. Uh, we're still working out some kinks here and there. We're gonna be setting up a website and hiring a third party to do the uh, specifics of the uh, of the raffle and counting up everything. That way it's fair, it's got nothing to do with me. It's got nothing to do with the other party. That way they're the ones doing it and uh, y'all don't think it's rigged or anything. So we're hiring a third party to do everything. We're gonna be setting up a website so you can uh, purchase as many entries as you want. And then like I said, we're gonna be um, trying out different things. So this is definitely new for us. And so uh, cut us some slack, give us a break. Cause uh, like I said, it's our first time, so. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I was gonna address this at the beginning of the video, but I didn't want it to set the tone for the whole entire video. And so uh, just wanted to let you guys know that. So we're doing a drop and hook here. Uh, actually, this trailer that we have on us now is the one I picked up the other night and it ended up right back here. And so uh, we're dropping off this trailer. We're gonna go grab an empty one. And then I got about a 45 minute drive to Grapevine, which is like, right between Dallas and Fort Worth. And according to Google Images, I can park on location uh, at the facility. That way I can finish, do my 10 hour break there. And hopefully by the time I get loaded, I can, uh, uh, I have my, have my time back and we can shoot on down to St. Rose, Louisiana, which is Southern Louisiana. And then we're going to Port Allen, Baton Rouge, picking up our usual and taking it back down to Laredo. And then from Laredo, we're coming back up here for this exact same load. So if y'all wanna come over to Landstar, use my truck number. Uh, I think I get something. I think they give something for referrals or whatever, but I wanna teach you guys for who wanna come over to Landstar or wanna be on operators. I wanna be able to show you guys what I'm doing to be successful. And we will have more revenue videos coming soon as the time comes. And we'll be comparing, you know, truck notes to cash trucks such as this one. And if y'all saw in yesterday's video, we started looking at flooring and some of the interior. Um, I reached out to a insulation company. I'm not gonna say the name as, as of yet, but we're trying to work on some kind of uh, partnership on that as well. So we're gonna try out their product. They're gonna send me some stuff. We're gonna try it out and uh, uh, we'll see how it goes. So insulation and uh, flooring is what we're gonna have next, uh, the next project on the truck once we get a little bit of time. So anyway, thank y'all for hanging out. I'm gonna go drop this this light 20,000 pound load and go over here and grab our empty. But guys, don't be a hater. Nobody likes it. You can be miserable, but you ain't gonna make us miserable or the people around you or even attempt to. Because uh, I don't tolerate that at all. So anyway, guys, this is this is Lone Star Texas Ranger signing off. I will catch you guys at noon. Central Standard Time tomorrow.